2007. Light vehicle sales, meanwhile, rolling out all morning. But behind the numbers, a new report by MRI says major automakers have a millennial problem. Fewer people under the age of 35 value owning a car, and most would give up having a car for their smartphone. MRI, MRY, rather, founder and CEO at Matt Brenton is with me. He joins me with more on that. Matt, good to see you. Hey, great to be back. Thank you so much for joining us once again. What is going on? Is this really about the phone being able to do more and more, or is this just that people don't want cars? Well, when we were growing up back in the day, uh, we didn't have phones. So if we wanted to go shopping, if we wanted to accomplish daily tasks, if we wanted to actually see other people, we had to actually jump in our car and do it. Now you can do all those things from your phone. You can use Skype. You can go shopping. You can accomplish daily tasks with your phone. So it's just not as important anymore for young consumers to actually own cars when the phone can do so much for them. So it's really, you know, the young consumer has to prioritize in, in, in terms of allocating sure. their money. And sure. they're going to allocate their money toward a phone. They're not necessarily are they going to go to a Ford, GM, Toyota, or BMW? Correct, correct. And also at the same time, yes, you know, millennials need to get places, but there's tools out there like Zipcar, which allows you to rent cars by the hour, or Uber, which allows you to push a button, have a car show up, and take you wherever you want to go. So millennials also are valuing very much so access to cars over ownership of cars. It doesn't weigh them down, and it frees up discretionary funds for them to explore other things that are a little bit more exciting for them to do. And of course, we call it the sharing economy, where you could rent or share and then give it back. You sure. don't have to own it. Exactly. And, you know, I think that millennials these days really don't want to be bogged down. They don't want to be bogged down by big ownership. And they also care about their personal brands. If you look at something like Instagram, which is absolutely exploding amongst millennials, they really care and focus about what their friends think about what they're doing. And really what gets them social status these days is experiences over stuff. So they're sharing pictures of them being front row at a concert or in the DJ booth. And that's going to get them the likes, not a picture with them in a new Toyota Camry. Just a accumulation of, of good and materials just isn't as cool anymore amongst millennials. Really interesting. So what are the most valuable apps or valuable products that millennials will spend money on these days? I know, you know, Uber, for example, comes to mind, you know, yeah. black cars that they could just rent or, you know, sure. get a ride and then give it back. Sure. What, what other apps are so most... So in terms of apps, I mean, Spotify is huge. They're, they're, that's another access over ownership trend. They are renting music instead of buying music. iTunes really missed out on that. You know, Steve Jobs, one of the one things he did get wrong was saying that he, does, he thinks that consumers want to own their music. But in the end, it turns out consumers are fine just renting their music because musical tastes change over time. But really, they're spending money on travel. They're spending money on festivals, actually experiencing life. That's what millennials are about. They're not about just accumulating stuff. And the sharing economy also allows them to tap into tools like Rent the Runway, which allows young women to rent dresses, slightly used dresses for the big night out versus plunking down a lot of money on an expensive dress. It's just the whole trend in terms of their priorities is different than... 10 years ago. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, in some days, it's hearkening back to the peace, love, unity, and respect ages of the, of the 60s. It's very community-driven. Um, they're all about friendships. They're all about community. And they're not as much about being so commercial and, and you know, and, and so showy, if you will. Matt, good to have you on the program. It's great to be back. Thank you so much, Thanks, Matt Britton, joining us, uh, founder and CEO, MRY. The